Here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an exciting video, a highly requested video, a tour of my lovely cabinet. Now this video took a really long time for a few reasons. Firstly, I had to wait like six months for the cabinet to arrive, but it was worth the wait. It's so gorgeous. And secondly, I just am really fussy with how I laid everything out. So I took like another six months to do that. And then Von and I have just been renovating our house a lot. So you'll see a lot of house tour videos coming up on my channel very soon. So let's just start with what I'm wearing right now, jewelry wise, and then I'm just going to take you through the rest of the cabinet and show you what I've acquired over the years. Okay, so let's start with the fingers. The most important ring, obviously, is my wedding ring from Vaughn. <laughs> We've been married seven years. It'll be eight years, wow. That's gone really quickly. Eight years, that's nearly a decade. I keep surprising myself. So yeah, <laughs> that's my engagement plus wedding ring. Here is, I believe that's called the Black Widow Ring by Rogue and Wolf. I also have the matching cuff here. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me wear that a lot. They obviously go together because they're a set. But yeah, that, that just is, it's so, so gothic. I kind of look at that and went like, wow, I wish I had a design for that. Okay, so on this hand, I've got my new favorite ring. Current fave at the moment is by Killstar, this giant pentagram ring. I went to buy my friend one of these, but yeah, now they're out of stock, so hopefully they'll get that back in soon if you like it. This midi ring is also by Rogue and Wolf, so I own a lot of their jewelry and really love their stuff. Just a little trick in case you do have a cabinet like this and are looking for ideas on where to store your hats. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> I've taken some video that I will edit into this video to kind of show you the top and the bottom of this whole cabinet. So I do keep my Killstar Witch hat up the top there because... It's so cool. <laughs> All right, so let's start in the middle shelf in no particular order. Right in the middle here, I have this crystal dish, which my mum gave me, which I just put my wedding ring when I'm not wearing it. Here I've got these lovely little autumn leaf dishes. I can't remember what the name of this type of pottery is, but it just caught my eye because it's so sparkly and metallic. It kind of looks like it's on fire, <laughs> which is why I love it. And yeah, this is where I keep a lot of my earrings. A lot of these are complete no brand, like $2 kind of earrings, but some of these are from one of my new favorite brands, which is Halloween 13. Ash is lovely and she's Australian as well. So that's, that's a little fat. <laughs> That's super cute. Oh, and I forgot to say the earrings that I'm wearing today are also by Halloween 13. So she runs an Etsy store. Um, so go and check her out. Really reasonably priced stuff as well. Here I've got some little lunar moon earrings. Here I've got some black sapphires. These are so gorgeous. So Vaughn got me a matching earring and necklace or pendant set. I can't remember what the occasion is, but very often he just comes home and surprises me with jewelry for no particular reason at all, which is really lovely. But yeah, they are some of the, well, I, I was going to say the most sparkly item, because I like sparkles, that I own, but he bought me something recently that is insane that I will show you that just kicks all the sparkles asses. Okay, next is this, again from Vaughn. I don't know where he finds this jewelry. That is, that is really nice. I kind of feel like it's so busy though, I should just be topless when I wear it. <laughs> Press that like button. Um, that was probably Bond's thinking with that. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's nodding. He's, he's the cameraman today and he's like, yes, take it off. <laughs> so yeah, that's gorgeous. I think I've worn it. Oh, I need to wear it more, but I've only worn it once. Sometimes I feel like I just buy so much jewelry that there's no time to wear it all or oh, it's so special that it doesn't make sense to just wear it every day you need a like really nice photo shoot or something so yeah i don't know the brand of this but that is super special in this little dish here i've got some chokers i have more down the bottom as well so this one i've been wearing quite a lot is by killstar i can't remember the name but yeah they, they chrome if you're wondering about the quality their chrome is Hardcore, like that is some serious high-end stuff right there. That's, yeah, it's really good quality. In this dish, I have a lot of uh, laser cut stuff that I think was done. I'm sorry if I get this wrong. Sometimes I can't remember. I think this was sent to me by Paige from the Pumpkin Coven. Oh, that's a lot of alliteration. I can't talk. Uh, definitely this one was. That's a lovely pendant, which is a coffin with a little bat on it. And I've got matching earrings. 
and a matching necklace. She sent me the whole set. I was, I love that. Yeah. Ooh. We have the Leviathan cross. Very, very cool. Tattooed on Black Friday's fingers. You see that a lot on like a cold fashion now. Here we have an inverted pentagram. I'm pretty sure this one actually was from Mamishka Bajor. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a lady in France who has an Etsy store. I will um, yeah, try to find the links and, and put them in the description below. You can't go wrong with Baphomet and an inverted cross, right? Here I have some giant <laughs> inverted pentagrams or pentacles by um, Kiltstar. They're, they're really nice, again, really good quality. But I find them a little heavy, like I can't woo, wear them. That was a good catch for yeah long periods of time. So I will pop them in for a photo shoot and then take them out. They're definitely not an all day earring. So this is another item by the brand that I just mentioned, Mamishka Bajor um, in France. I love how she combines a whole bunch of different styles and ethnicities. So when I look at that, I kind of get Indian, I get Arabic um, with a pentagram, you've got the whole occult, you know, influence going on. So I love it. it's kind of like a big mishmash and it just kind of ends up looking really vampy. Um, I didn't really, oh, I didn't think I could do gold, but if I wear something really simple, that can look really cool. And she does have silver stuff as well in her store. Up here I have a choker. It's really sentimental because I wore this to my wedding. I'll put up a wedding photo so you can see it. This lady shut down in 2010 when I got married so I, I can't even remember her name but she was doing really well. Um, and then she, she closed down. I don't know why. If you follow me on Instagram you know I'm a big fan of my Thomas Sabo and Pandora charm bracelets and these earrings by Thomas Sabo are really sentimental to me because I saw them in the shops. So I was out with my mum and dad and I was like, oh my god, they're so beautiful. They're like little serpent snakes and the eyes are crystals and it's got that beautiful teardrop there. And I was like, I need them. And then I went to buy them and they're like, yeah, they're $295. And my jaw dropped and I went, what? And then I walked away crying. Um, and then a few months later, it was my 30th birthday and my papa bought them for me. And I literally, I did start crying. I was like, oh my god, my mother bought me. <laughs> yeah, so that's really sweet and I love them a lot. This, I think, is the first item that I bought from the Pumpkin Coven. I hope I'm not mixing up my brands, but that's really nice because it's on a choker, so it looks a little different to um, some of the stuff that I usually wear. In the back here, we have our wedding candle, which was lit after the vows were exchanged between Bon and I. So again, super sentimental. Although <laughs> the letters are just stickers, so they're kind of coming off because yeah, they're like eight years old, but it's. It's still in really good nick and we left it in a weird spot one summer. It kind of melted so it's a bit wonky, but still good. <laughs> still alright. This lovely cabinet was bought, again, everything I've got that is really cool has been bought for me by Bond. I've had this forever. It's a little high so it's kind of impractical to use, but it won't fit on the other shelves like it will, but like you can't open it so it's kind of pointless. So it's like I put it in the middle but can't open it or put it up there and have it be open and really pretty to look at but also not be able to use it so I went with the latter. <laughs> oh god this is a funny story, you remember this? <laughs> These fucking things. I've never worn this, I, I was fascinated with fascinators. <laughs> Pardon yeah. the pun, that's not a pun is it? I don't fucking know why, I thought they were goth as fuck. Stupid as fuck. Stupid as fuck, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't know, I went through like sticking a bird in your head is supposed to be fucking cool. Um, I don't know, young dumb, I don't know what to blame that on, but it was it was crazy expensive, so yeah, I just put it up there for decoration. My cameraman is being naughty. Alright, so this was by the same brand that um, made the choker for my wedding. That's lovely. I have matching earrings as well that I also wore to the wedding. Um, I was supposed to wear that, but at the last minute I changed my mind and went for the choker. This is just some random hand. I don't even have... <laughs> Why would I even fucking put it in there? I have no rings on it. And I'm clumsy as fuck. I don't know if um, you guys know that about me, but like, I break everything and I burn a lot of my cooking. Anyway, I got this, I was unwrapping it and I drop it. I, I literally had not even used it yet, still not using it. And yeah, broke. I didn't think it was porcelain. I was probably like, oh look at this, it's fucking plastic. And then I broke the middle finger off, so I just super glue is my best friend. Um, yeah, so that's just a random black hand. 
<laughs> oh, that's quite funny. Okay, moving along to the bottom shelf. I have a massive crucifix collection. I love my crosses. The first one, actually the first, the very first one I probably bought was this one because it was like $9.95. Um, and I remember buying that way before I was into kind of goth stuff. Um, so kind of like 1920 was when I w went to the dark side. <laughs> I just find it amusing how people like say that, so I thought I'd be really corny there. Um, yeah, whatever. I found not God, <laughs> goth. <laughs> I found goth. <laughs> Have you heard the word of goth lately? <laughs> um, so yeah, it was like 9.95. It's still in good nick and looks really cool. Cheap, cheap, cheap. So then my second cross I bought from House of Fetish, which is like a a renowned like Sydney gothic shop, but I think unfortunately they've closed down now. You better make sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe they still have an online store, but it, like they were in Darlinghurst. Yeah, Oxford Street, really funky kind of area, and um, there was a lot of like sex shops and strip clubs and fetish kind of shops there. And when Sydney has the Mardi Gras, that's like the, the area that that's held at. So it's a really trendy, um, trendy place. Like Wheels and Doll Baby and Dangerfield, if you know those stores, they're all in that area, um, right near House of Fetish. And yeah, I can remember like for 10 years going there with Vaughn, and like that would have been my first the first store where I bought my first corset and the long faux jacket that I will show you in my upcoming wardrobe tour that was bought from House of Fetish a lot of things over the years um, including this lovely crucifix I believe it was handmade in New Zealand I don't know the brand it just came in a box with like a letter on it I'm gonna say the letter L but I'm just I'm just guessing so I don't know but it's such a shame because I can't tell you it just got a 9.25 stamping on the back yeah, I think the first time I went in, like everything there was crazy dear. It was like 500, I was like, Wah! and then I went in the second time, it was 400, I'm like, oh, it's still a lot. And then I went in like the third time and it was like 300, I'm like, sold! <laughs> I finally, I finally bought it and I wore that for a good three or four years before I kind of started a collection and now I have a, a variety of ones that I can wear. So my second favorite is probably this one. <laughs> Given to me on my first wedding anniversary. I don't think you're supposed to give like white gold and diamonds. <laughs> it's fucking gorgeous. On your first wedding anniversary, I think like, you know, they've got that list of things like, I think it's paper. It's like toilet paper. Toilet paper, <laughs> like if you get through, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, here's some paper to wipe your butt with. <laughs> you, you stayed married. Um, and then like five years of silver and like, you know, it keeps getting more special the longer you've been married. Bob don't do that, he's just like fucking one year, here you get this, so that was lovely. I can't remember what I got him. I probably should be able to remember. But I can't. I can't either. Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I probably got you something. I, I think you owe me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you owe me big time. Nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, then I've got this black one, I have no idea. I don't even know where, did I buy that? It's not really my style because of the round edges, it looks... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they're still doing there. It's nice because it's black, I guess. Uh, that's not a crucifix. But da -da -da. Looks a bit like steel made it. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it's <laughs> Play-Doh and steel made it. So this is another... Oh gosh, I love this. This is the French brand for Mishka Bajor. That is divine. Yeah, really nice. Really unique and it's hard to find kind of detailed filigree. Um, occult inverted stuff in black a lot of it's silver so yeah I really enjoy that all right so this is just a cheap inverted pentagram from eBay it's nothing special but it's a my expensive Thomas Sabo oh I can't remember what these are called like balls <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're balls <laughs> these are called balls I'm, <laughs> I think they're like obsidian obsidian beads or something like that <laughs> Is what they call them. It's Can not, you not mention it's, balls in every single one of my not videos? What they, call them. <laughs> they call them balls. In my last video, man, I said, like, my get ready with me. I was like, and later on, Vaughn's gonna come and show you his Christmas balls. And now there's another video where you've mentioned your balls. Are you gonna show your inverted testicle collection? <laughs> no, I thought I'd do a whole video on that because it's so large. Fuck. <laughs> All those inverted pentagrams and crosses. <laughs> Man, this is why you don't start businesses, because <laughs> remember the bowls backpack? Someone beat you to it, baby. Uh, how many have we sold? <laughs> Not we. You do that. This can be your solo project. The bowls backpack. 
So this is a rosary um, chain that I bought and then the cross fell off. Um, it's the only one that I have actually. And yeah, I just like bought this from somewhere else. Yeah, I can't remember the story behind that, but <laughs> that's pretty cool as well. These right here are some cool shades. You would have seen me wear these in my haunt. I'm going to say unboxing. Yeah, the unboxing video when all of my furniture from them arrived. These are from Alice Lockhart store. If you don't follow her on Instagram, please do. She's adorable. But these are from her store called Cadabra Cult. And yeah, she's got a lot of really, really nice you gotta stuff. got to clean them. I got to clean them. That's not me. That's steel. That's steel because he can reach the bottom shelf. Or when I open it, you just look at that. They're dirty. You can really see how holographic they are there with the fingerprints. But yeah, they, they need a good clean. That's not me. And in this little jar down here, I don't know if you can see it, I have all of my chokers. Um, so that one is also, that's good timing, by Kadabra Cold. I love that. It was $49.95, but if you're hesitant to purchase it, don't, because the quality is insane. It's really, really nice. Um, the letters are just up there with Killstar in that they're really solid and really sturdy. There's no um, scratches in the silver. It's, yeah, I can't recommend that enough. It's lovely. Here I have another choker. I think this is called the Noctrine, something like that choker. It's just big. <laughs> I bought it because I was like, whoa, damn, that big. Um, and then when you put it on, it looks even bigger. I bought some really cheap chokers, like I'm talking like 50 cents from AliExpress. Um, I love how simple just a black velvet choker is, but it broke. <laughs> I can fix it, but I just haven't yet. You have to have a neck corset, right? These things are super cool. I think I wore this in my video showcasing my vampire art book. And yeah, instant vampirification. <laughs> I don't know how that's looking over the other one, but that's very nice. I kind of forgot that I had it. I bought it like 10 years ago. Put it away somewhere, I thought, ah, I'll never wear that. And then recently discovered and went, that's cool, who the fuck bought that? Oh, I did. <laughs> Once, like, he sees me buy all this stuff, it comes in the house, and then it goes somewhere, and then he never sees it again, like this never dress. Never see it again. That's yeah, right. he's like, when did you buy that? It's very nice. I'm like, oh, a few months ago, I just haven't had the time to wear it. Oh, the video. Here I just have, like, more, they're seriously, like, a dollar from AliExpress. I haven't even worn that yet, but that's really nice. Um, if you're on a budget, yeah, just go to AliExpress and put in like gothic chokers and things like that. You'll find some really nice stuff. Obviously the quality is not great, but um, if you're on a budget, you know, who cares? Breaks, buy another one for a dollar. Okay, next up I thought I would just show you a few choice items from my drawer here. And yeah, just go through everything. So, I think this deserves a video of its own, <laughs> but I have two charm bracelets that I absolutely adore. Hopefully that is in focus. There we go. Okay, so this is a big collection of Thomas Sabo and um, Pandora, yeah, charms. And I've got like little ones with this gorgeous photo of um, Steel and myself in there and a little love heart and his name's engraved on the back. But yeah, I absolutely adore how that looks. Oh, what to show you. Here I just have a, a collection of like really cheap um, midi rings, like 10 for a dollar on eBay, nothing special. <laughs> this is from um, Eye Candy Designs. Yeah, so I'm not sure if she um, is selling like stuff in her store anymore, but that's one of my favorite bat rings. Um, this is a goat head you've seen me wear a lot. I, I don't know where I got that one from either, sorry. You're like, tell me something where you know where I can get it, Apollina. Okay, this one here, this one here. Holy shit, look at that. Okay, this is definitely another one by um, Mamishka Bajor in France. Yeah, that is just beautifully elegant and simple. Here I have another lovely necklace by Paige at the Pumpkin Coven. That looks really lovely on. Probably easy to show you on than just holding it here. But yeah, it's the same bats that I have um, on the earrings. So yeah, it's really nice to have matching sets. This was the recent piece that I was talking about that Vaughn got me that was so sparkly. So I was talking about those black sapphires um, being the most sparkly thing that he's got me, but no, this is crazy. Look at that sparkle. Heaps of rings here, people. So this is a um, Peridot lovely little ring by Magic Jewelry. I wear that quite frequently. I love how green that um, stone is. This is a, another one I wear a lot, you'll see on my Instagram feed. So this is by Katya Blondin. Gorgeous, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This pin I've yet to put on my jacket. I know it's not, it's kind of jewelry, 
um, related, but it was also sent to me by Manku Gil, um, and she knows how much I adore typo negative, so yeah, I'm gonna put this on my leather jacket, or one of my leather jackets. <laughs> this bad boy here is one of my all-time favorite rings. It is just so big, so defined. It looks like a ruby. It's not, it was not cheap. It was like 120 US dollars, but yeah, it just... It's so faceted. I love rings that have really faceted stones. That's lovely. These are quickly becoming some of my favorite earrings. At first I was like, oh, silver, glitter, metallic. I don't know if I could do that. But I did it and I was like, wow, am I glad I did that. <laughs> yeah, these are also by Halloween 13. I've got a lot of her stuff actually. This is a showstopper. Like, look at that. Oh my God. So this was gifted to me also by Paige at the Pumpkin Coven. That is insane. I need to wear that more. Oh my gosh. I just, that's what I mean. I put them in the cupboard and then they're so pretty. I don't want to wear them. This lovely little bat ring, hello, <laughs> is by Worship13 and it was only like $12. It was not dear at all. Um, I will say it's got the little thing at the back where, oh, I should say here, where it opens and that does tend to snag my finger, but. Um, I put up with it because it's super cute. This is an awesome spiked cuff that I found when I was last in LA with Vaughn. I just, I loved it because it spoke to my inner punk. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, it's just got a little bit of bling. See that? Like every so often there's a rivet that's just covered in diamantes and I just, I thought that was really unique. Yeah, really like that. I'm pretty sure this bat necklace, it is totally alchemy gothic, but yeah, that is lovely and very massive as well. You can see it almost takes up the entire span of my hand. This gorgeous pendant here was gifted to me by some, some, I can't actually remember. It's just some really upper self YouTuber and she just sent this to me. And I was like, oh, that's quite nice. I'll forgive you because you make nice jewelry. She also sent me this one, which has her artwork Immortal Beloved on it. This one, which has her artwork Angel of Death. This one, which is Two Lovers, Carpathian Kiss. And this one, a cameo of a young vampire that's just been turned. Why do I know so much about these pendants, you say? <laughs> They're by me. I was just fucking with you. They're available in my online store. They're only $34.95. They're solid, I'm gonna say sterling silver, no, stainless steel. Really good. Really, really good. This lovely little cameo was sent to me by a fan. That is crazy. She just saw that and said, hey, I think you'll really like this. She sent it to me. I'm like, oh, it's so sweet. This is another lovely, I should wear this more often. I forgot I had this actually. It's like a big chunky um, stainless steel. It's like $500. Not stainless steel, sorry. Fucking sterling. 925, whatever that is. Silver. Silver, it's silver. Ah, I'm burning. But yeah, Von and I bought matching bracelets. He's got an even bigger, chunkier one, which is very nice. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my jewelry that I've collected over the years, decades one might say, <laughs> or not. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below which is your favourite piece, do you own any of these pieces as well? Do you have any jewelry that you'd like to share with me that you think I would like to see? So comment down below, remember to press that like button, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.